Coach, you weren't pretty small. Uh, did you have the size on the floor that you needed to be able to rebound with them? Well, they're small. I mean, they go small ball, so you had to match it because they were just putting us in ball screens, um, and their guys made plays. Obviously, Kyler Edwards, uh, if you look at his percentages uh, going into it, not not nowhere near this. And, uh, you know, he had a, a special game, um, you know, and, and made plays. Kevin McCullough comes off the bench, uh, four offensive rebounds, you know, those those second chance points were huge for, for him and them. Uh, you know, the big thing was, yeah, obviously the second chance points, 16 to 6, and then uh, turnovers, uh, points off turnovers, 30. You now we turned them over 16 times, but, uh, you know, they, and we got 20 points off it, but when you really, you know, you, you analyze a game, it's a 10 point game, 12 point game, and it's, you know, the points off turnovers and the second champ points are probably the biggest difference makers. So, uh, you know, we, you know, we, I told them on, on the, the two days going into it and on the board today, I said, I wish I could tell you how they're going to guard and I could script things. You got to play basketball. You got to make plays. You got to read. Uh, they switched everything to start the game. Uh, it, it, it kind of got us stagnant. Obviously, I don't know what was the 10 to nothing or whatever it was. And, you know, spotted them and, and, you know, to our guys' credit, they did not stop battling. We came back three different times uh, from big deficits, and you tied a game up. But now it's gut check part. It's the, the nitty gritty part of game, and now you got to make the right plays. And uh, we turned it over, I think, two or three times uh, in that stretch. We missed some free throws, um, and then they got they got some second chance points, and uh, you know, so they. they they came very determined and, and made the right plays and had some guys step up. Uh, you referenced going a little smaller tonight. Of course, Mac just plays six minutes. Was that matchup related or more what he, I guess? Well, some of it hurt. was his fouls, uh, you know, to start the game again. Um, and he just, he, he just he doesn't have the energy and the motor that we need. And, and I, I'm not sure what's wrong. I wish I know. I talked to him. Um, you know, I, I just I feel bad for him because he's a better player than this, and he's had his days in the past where he uh, where he struggled. Um, and you know, we had we, but you were you had Dean always there, and you always had you know not all the time, but you had him there quite a bit. And you know, Levi between Levi Dean and and Xavier, you could go small, and you were still pretty effective. So um, you know it. Obviously, and then Saturday we we, we got to he's got to be better if we're going to have any chance against their inside presence. Obviously, you're on the grind right now and in, in, in a tough stretch and and zero and four right now in the Big Twelve. What do you tell the guys right now? What are maybe the key bullet points? Well, one, I, I, they care. Um, there was in the locker room. You they they cared after the game. They cared. I think they. Um, it doesn't show it, but I think we're ready to play. I just don't know what the starts are. Uh, to be honest, it's it's not very good. You know, you uh, we started days one, so maybe you know I thought maybe it would give us a little more energy, a little more lift. Uh, I started Levi to start the second half. Um, you know, just because Mac had been kind of you know not 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 had the motor that we liked. Um, you know, just trying some different things. Uh, you know it. it you know, but we just, uh, you know, you got to keep caring, got to keep believing. We also got to execute when it when it comes to the crutch time power game. You you play so hard and you give yourself a chance, but then you don't execute when it counts and you don't make the, the, the nitty gritty plays that uh, that really matter. This is the highest shooting percentage you've had in a loss in more than two years. Is it just one of those things where it seems like you put your finger in somewhere and another? Yeah, it's a, a dike. It, it keeps... You know, the little kid in the cartoons, you keep putting in something in there. One day it's free throws, the next day you can't make threes, then it's turnovers. It's It just seems like it's it's different every game. And, um, and you know, I, I don't know. You know, we went some zone. Probably maybe you should have played more zone, to be honest, in that, you know, you just – but they hit that big one. Uh, I think Kyler hit the big one at the top of the key in the second half when we kind of – they had been hurting us with ball screens, so we – I just said, let's try zone once. And, um, you know, we tried it in the first half with Xavier with two. Uh, you know, you're you're already un, under man with Mike. And uh, we had, I don't know, four guys with two, I think, in the first half. And so we went zone. It, it probably got us back in the game a little bit. Got the zone press. They turned it over. 
uh, gave us a little bit of a chance. But, you know, the, again, it's 20 turnovers, just too many. David and uh, between Cartier and David, that's 10 turnovers from your point guards. And, um, you know, it's just – it's probably too many. Bruce, how encouraged were you tonight by what you saw from Montavious? You know, he, he, unbelievable effort. Uh, I love nine for nine from the free throw line, 11 and six. You know, he, he, he allows us defensively to, to switch and do some things. You know, and he's not perfect, and he knows it, but uh, he's, he's done a great job for us. There's no doubt. And, uh, you know, he, he keeps battling. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know he's, he's done way better. I'll be honest, way better than I ever anticipated. So very, very happy with him. Antonio, you know, Monte's a little head, just the basketball feel than he is, but I think Antonio's going to be a really good player also. You expecting to have Mike back on Saturday? I don't know. I wish I had an answer. Um, you know, they go through the protocol and the, the tests, and then there's all the days you got to wait until you're allowed to do it. I, I just feel bad for him. Uh, it's killing him. He's sitting in the room in the dark and texts me two times, Coach, this is boring. So... But you got to you got to get it back. Uh, how frustrating is it to see David and Cardi combined for ten turnovers? Yeah, so I just said it's just too many. And and you know the one thing we've talked about, they I think they took four or five charges. Um, we said when you get in there, you got to jump stop and now read it there. If they're all sitting there waiting to take a charge, that means somebody's open. They don't have seven guys on the court, you know. And and uh, you know we just we just didn't make the some of the right reads and take care of the ball at the right time. Bruce, they weren't perfect together by any means, but did you like the energy and some other stuff that was out there when you played Monty and Antonio together? Yeah, you know, their small ball, you asked about the first question was small ball, so we had talked about, you know, I'd, I'd love Mac and Levi to play better, but, you know, if, uh, if they weren't going to play well, then we, we talked about playing both those guys together, and we did that a little bit. They definitely give you some more some more energy than – and and they play hard. I mean, for young guys, they they battle and they got to keep that. They got to keep that. Now they got to get better. You know, it's just you know you look at Antonio just zero for three from the free throw line. It just those are killers. You know, uh, you know they got to get better. But uh, you know they they do they play their butts off. Just same with Dejuan. one, um, and that's 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 a great thing to start with if you got a great motor like that. Davis, why do you think you're starting to be able to figure things out more right now? Um, just think I'm starting just like to read like on the offensive end, just like where I'm supposed to be, um, the gaps of where I'm supposed to be, and like the areas of where that 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 like that dish off pass could be, and just like being ready to go up and finish. And that's just the most important thing. Um, I just think I could do way more. So I so I'm just trying to figure out the little ways I can just do way more to help the team out. So that's the important thing. Xavier, how, how encouraging is it to see the guys, you know, continue to fight despite falling behind 15 points in this game and you could have just folded, collapsed, things like that, but you kept going? Uh, we got a tough, resilient team. Uh, we got to be tougher at certain moments in the game, but uh, we got a lot of guys that's just going out here to play as hard as they can, and we can't fault them for that, but we just got to get some plays that can go our way. Bruce, you, you know how difficult it is when you overturned so much of the roster. Um, Texas Tech kind of going through similar to what you guys, you know, co-lead champs last year. What do you yeah. think of, of how they've ever been able to well, um, at least kind of stay in the fight? The thing they added was obviously Clark. Is, he's a major college player. We recruited him. They actually called us after last year. Um, they called us two years ago, too. But, um, you know, he – you know, they, they took him. You got Morietti. Uh, Hollifield is a really good role player for them. So now you got three veteran guys. And then, you know, you, and, and Edwards played in the national championship game. What do you have, eight, ten? And, you know, pretty good player. And, and tonight he was special. Uh, so it, they've been able to, uh, you know, turn around. You know, but we talked about it with our guys. We win today. We're both one and three. So, you know, it wasn't like, they were like light layers ahead of us in, in the game, you know, but credit again, credit to them. And, um, they, they made the plays and, and found ways to, uh, you know, I, I think I, I wish Xavier could guard everybody, but I can't, you know, and, and we just, we got some guys that are probably good, as good at defenders as they need to be. And uh, that's where we get caught. It seems like 
all year the other guys are able to to go off and you know it's uh you know it's made it made it's made it really tough Bruce, did you uh, get an explanation about that call that led to maybe a technical? No, I, I, I wasn't mad about the charge block. I, I, even though I think if you watched on the replay, he was in, in the circle. Um, I think at least that's what everyone said to me. I wasn't mad about that. I was mad because Xavier got knocked down when the, when the ball was – they should never came to a charge block call uh, because Xavier went for the ball and they knocked him. He lost balance. He was lucky to get it. And that, that's all I was mad about. You know, make that call, then the other one doesn't even matter. And, and we go to the free throw line. And, and I, 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 don't know, I guess he just thought I kept griping. The, the one official was in the huddle with me talking to me. I, I wasn't, I was just talking to him. So, you know, it is, it is what it is. It, and maybe it got us fired up. We did come back after that, so maybe I need to get more of them. Uh, now we have another tough matchup with West Virginia coming up. What do you see with them? Just their physicality and, uh, uh, you know, they, they play very hard. They're defending well. We're going to have to rebound and, and fight them off. Uh, hopefully we can uh, have somebody just – some you know, and Cardi has pretty good numbers, 19, but, uh, you know, and had good shooting. That's his best shooting of the year. But probably need two, three guys to really step up and – and, and be special if we're going to have a chance, and we're going to have to rebound. There's no doubt about that. Xavier, the team seemed to, seemed to turn down threes and take it to the, to the rim a lot more. Was that kind of a point of emphasis for tonight or, or for several games, and you just started doing it? Uh, we're just taking what's open for us right now. we got to uh, take the open shots when we get them. Um, and we knew they were taking charges, so we uh, were cautious about attacking. But we're just taking what the defense gives us, and that's what Coach has been telling us to do. For both Montavious and Xavier, Coach uh, mentioned that he's kind of baffled by s some of the slow starts, especially today. Is there anything that you guys have been able to put your finger on as why just those first couple minutes and games aren't going your way? Uh, we just have to come out focused and locked in. Uh, we know we, uh, we do a great job preparing for the game and um, scouting the game. Coaches uh, got a lot of calls for us. Uh, for the defensive wise, we just got to come out and execute and do better in the uh, beginning of the games. Yeah, I just think it's the <clears throat> I just think it's the just coming out, just staying focused on. But mainly, uh, we we play good defense, and then we just like the, at the end, like end, it just they hit a shot, and then we just break down. I just feel like we just need to stay more focused and just and just stay more focused so they don't just hit a crazy shot, you know. Xavier, as a senior guy, I know you haven't been through this before, but um, what do you tell? The younger guys, um, kind of to keep their heads up through through this all. Uh, I gotta lead the way, show them how to do it first and foremost. Uh, I can't have breakdowns uh, on the on the court. Um, also, uh, just just being that leader, being that senior uh, senior figurehead for us, um, telling these guys that this is not the end. We got a lot of basketball left, and we got a lot of great chances to do that, and have a lot of opportunities to uh, show what we're about. 